man, everyone that you view with your natural eye mm. is in need of a savior. And somebody might ask the question, why, why? Your man need uh, a savior, but well, because it's simple, because we have committed sin in our lives. And man is condemned a just punishment, just punishment for sin. Romans 3 and 10, it says, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Did y'all hear what the scripture says? It says, as it is written, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. So as a sinner, man cannot save himself. Jeremiah, he comes along and he brings some more clarity. He writes in Jeremiah 10, 23, he says, Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direction his steps. In other words, man is not walking in the proper direction. Or in other words, man is not able to guide himself in the way that he should go. Man, what man would be lost, my brothers and sisters, unless God acted to save man. If, if God had not acted the way he did, all mankind faith, would be faith. punished. Mm -hmm. So church, whatever salvation man has must have come as a gift of God's grace. Mm -hmm. It was not. Yeah, based on merit. Why? Because man has not done nothing to deserve salvation. Mm. All right. The Bible brings even more clarity. It says all of our righteousness is as filthy rags before God. Mm. So the good things that we do is still not so much accepted to God if we come to him in the wrong manner. Mm. We have to have a covering. We have to have someone that would step before us and present yeah. our gifts before God. God, he loved, his love was, was great enough for God to send his son, amen, to make a lost man salvation all possible. Romans 3 and 16, very familiar passage of scripture, it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believing in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Church, Jesus, our blessed Savior, he died as a sacrifice for man's sin. Amen, amen. Maybe later on we'll view this thing correctly. 1 Peter 3 and 18, it says, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. All right, all right. Church Christ did suffer. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Christ, his life was a life of suffering, mm -hmm. as it was prophesied many years ago that it would be, that the life of Jesus would be a life of suffering. Isaiah 53 and 3, it says, He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our face from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Jesus, I'm here to share with us today, he suffered the reproach of the religious leaders of his day. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get it twisted. I, my viewpoint of Christianity used to be, I, I, I thought a long time ago that once you get saved that you didn't have to worry about any suffering until we start studying about the life of Jesus. Think about it, if you will. The one that we, amen, follow, the one that is our Savior, he lived a life of suffering. They sought to kill our master. On many occasions, they had pre-planned to kill Jesus. They conspired with Judas. Mm -hmm. 
one of the ones that Jesus called out. They conspired to, with Judas uh, to have him to deliver Jesus to them. Now, now, history will let us know that during five separate illegal trials, Jesus was spit upon, slapped, amen, in his face, marked and beat. Now, somebody tell me, if you will, if you know more information to help me, what wrong did our master do? You tell me, I, 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 I'm trying to get a case here. Was it wrong to raise the dead? Was it wrong to feed 5,000 on one occasion? You better fix it, Pastor. And to feed 4,000 on another occasion? All right, now, all right. Was it wrong to heal folks that were sick? What did he do wrong? But they found him guilty. Amen, amen. Yeah, they even paid some folks to lie on our master. Yes. But Pilate said, I, 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 I find no fault mm. in him. His wife told him, she said, honey, last night I had a terrible dream. Yeah. Yeah. I, I dreamed that this man was innocent mm -hmm. and we shouldn't do him no harm, but yet they crucified him. Come on now. now, crucifixion was one of the most painful ways mm -hmm. of execution that man had ever devised. Crucifixion was intense. During crucifixion, they waited till it, it was a hot day. So the ones that was crucified was exposed to the sun. Now, I take a, 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 a blood pressure pill, and on, on that blood pressure pill bottle, it, 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 it tells me, amen, stay out the sun. Amen. But, but, but here, they, they crucified Jesus at the hottest part of the day. They exposed Jesus to the S-U-N, the sun. Uh, uh, they put him in a strained position mm -hmm. where his body could suffer for thirst. Mm -hmm. Out in the heat, amen, that, and his body had a great craving for thirst. Mm -hmm. The wounds, amen, would swell because of mm -hmm. the raging heat and, and, and the rough nails. Amen, he had a thrusting headache Anxiety was everywhere on our master. It said that a victim that was crucified, legally, uh, their death is the death of a thousand deaths. So think about that, if you will. Amen. Look what the Lord did for you and I. Jesus suffered. For sins, I, I, I was sins, amen, because, amen, even Pilate had to say, I find no fault in him, amen, but he suffered for our sins. Jesus' death was not merely the case of an innocent person suffering in injustice. No, 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 he hadn't did any wrong, amen, but yet and still Jesus was our atonement for sin. Jesus, uh, we ought to learn to rejoice in God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, when we think about all that he had done for us. Amen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom uh, we have now received the atonement. Mm -hmm. Think about that, if you will. All of us in our cases that we all have done some wrong. Yeah. But because of Jesus' death, mm. you think about it, one of these days we'll come before God like we never did no wrong Jesus. in our life. Don't, don't that make you feel a little good about yourself? Yeah. Amen. Knowing that you can come before God uh, hide behind Jesus yeah. like you never did no wrong. Church, our sins is now covered.
covered by the blood of Jesus. Jesus fulfilled the matters of prophecy. The prophecy, amen, the prophets had prophesied that Jesus would be slain like a lamb and he fulfilled all of the prophets. Even Nicodemus, we talked about that a few, few Sundays ago, how Nicodemus came down to the realization what Jesus had said and I'll be lifted up from the earth I'll draw all men and right in the Holy Ghost yeah. flashed into his mind and heart and he knew that that's what Jesus came to do yeah. you see I can, I can say this right here that Satan didn't realize that he messed up yeah. he should have left Jesus alone yeah. he did not know the strategy yeah. of God almighty yeah. he didn't know that God had One day. 